Okay, so here we are back in Maya, and now let's create the shader for that inner ring where we put the bump map on. So go to Hypershade and go to the Mint Ray Materials and create an MIA Material X. So with that selected, let's go to the Attributes, hit Control A, and let's call this inner ring Chrome. And let's uh, set the preset here again, uh, the preset to Chrome. And now let's change some settings here. Let's uh, change the uh, reflectivity here to something like 0.8 and the glossy samples to 30. And now we bring in that bump map. Um, go down here to the bump tab and then we say standard bump. Click on that button here and then uh, bring in a file. And again we have um, some nodes that we don't need here. So I only need the place 2D texture and what we could do is delete here all of... Uh, it's, I don't know why this is new in Maya. So let's select here the place 3D node, the bump 3D and the projection node. Delete that. And then again go here to the uh, inner ring shader and then middle mouse and drag that file onto the standard bump here and that should work fine. So now with that file node selected here turn that filter off and then we bring in our bump map. So I saved that out under uh, images I guess so there and we have the inner ring bump map TGA so uh, load that up Okay, so now with that shader created, let's uh, drop it onto our ring. So select the object here and then right click assign material to a selection. And there you go. So we see nothing here in the viewport. That's totally normal. Um, but if we take a render of that, uh, let me zoom in on that. So let's take a render. So you see something happened definitely in there, but I see also some kind of distortion. Um, can't tell why that is right now. So let's check that out. What we could do is um, go to Hypershade and drop that same file here uh, into the color channel. So let's uh, for that let's uh, just create another shader. Uh, let's uh, s uh, create a simple Lambert for that. So we go here to Maya, say Lambert, and let's uh, drop that file texture here into that color node of that Lambert. And then we drop the Lambert onto our inner ring and let's uh, hit 6 on the keyboard to go to... Uh, there you go. So for some reasons, uh, for some reason, the UVs are uh, stretched out here in the end. I don't know why that is because our UVs should have. So that happens when we smooth that guy out, but that shouldn't. You see this? That's weird. <laughs> Okay, so let me pause the video and I'll try to figure out um, what the problem is. Yeah, so I'm back uh, after some troubleshooting here. Yeah, the problem is um, the geometry itself. So we don't have uh, on this um, edge uh, loop here or edge ring. So we have not enough geometry. So now it's in low poly view. And when I say select this edge here and say control right click edge ring utilities and split. Um, let me go to the inputs here and let's set it to a multi and let's crank it up to something like 5. So and now when I take that object and smooth that guy out, uh, it doesn't change that much anymore. Okay, so yeah, let's, um, with that figured out, um, let's go back to our hypershade and let's delete that Lambert that we created, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so let's delete it. And then we go here to our inner chrome shader, inner ring chrome, 
let's go to the inputs and outputs so we have the bump 2d and the green chrome but there is uh, not the tile file texture anymore so let's bring in let's delete the bump 2d node here and go to textures uh, oh we deleted that um, so uh, let's let's bring it in again so all right again um, click here on uh, file node and again we delete uh, projection and 3d texture node go click here on file turn that filter off and bring in our uh, inner ring bump map and then with that chrome shader selected we get on here and then middle mouse that file over the standard bump and there we go there we are back and now let's uh, drop that uh, chrome shader uh, assign material to selection back on that thing all right so now we have um, yeah the shading done for the uh, for the inner ring for the outer ring and now we only have one uh, or yeah one shading stuff uh, to do left here and that's to create uh, the shader um, for that wristband but I think um, yeah I'm gonna start a fresh new video for that so see you in the next one